What's going on my fellow elegant savages and welcome to week two of my savage beer growth journey. Per usual, this is going to be a really quick video. I'm going to show you all my games, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and look at what I'm currently using right now to help my beer, you know what I'm saying, get to that full savage level. So I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram specifically, but this is the Minoxidil that I ended up going with. So as you can see right here, this is, let's let it focus in, there we go. This is the Minoxidil that I'm using. I got it from Walgreens. Uh, and this is the 5% foam. Now, one quick thing with Minoxidil, right? I am not a doctor, so I cannot say that, you know, you should use this, but I will say do your own research. And if you feel like it's something that will benefit you, then make your own, you know, decision on that for yourself. But for me, I've been using that now. Like I said, this is week two. And one thing I noticed when I was sleeping, it felt like, and this might be me just really messing with my mind, but I felt like my heart was like beating faster, like it might pound out of its out of my chest or something like that. And it wouldn't happen every single night, but it would happen from time to time, enough for me to kind of get concerned about it. And so I'm kind of switching up my routine a little bit. And so to avoid any heart palpitations or any other heart problems, I decided that now I'm only going to use Minoxidil in the morning. Like I said, previously I was using it five days a week right morning and night in those other two days i've been thermal rolling and i've also been using my sheet mask which if you haven't seen my sheet mask video definitely go check that out so now the question is what else am i going to use to really help my beard come in so i can you know be the full savage that i'm meant to be and what i ended up picking up is a beard activator as you can see right here from copenhagen grooming which i don't see their logo on here oh there it is cg Copenhagen Grooming, I picked up a beard activator. Now, I'm not sponsored by this company in any way, but I started to see a lot of ads, uh, specifically on Instagram too. You know how it is. You type in one thing, you search for it, and you see ads from every single company. So I did research on these different companies, and I ended up going with them. To be honest with you, this seems like it's a really great product. I put it on at night, and so the routine right now is Minoxidil in the morning, and then beard activator at night. And I've actually put this one on seven days a week, right? So on the days that I am thermal rolling, I'll put on my uh, beard activator right after it. Um, and then I go ahead and put on my sheet mask after that. So I'm actually able to put this on seven days a week. But one thing I will say is after I did a little bit more research, I feel like I overpaid for the thermal roller for sure. Um, they have a whole beard growth kit where you get the activator, um, some sanitizer for the thermal roller, and you get a thermal roller. But you can really go on Amazon and I'll try and link one in the description below if you're just really having problems finding one for yourself. But you shouldn't be paying like over $20 for a thermal roller. It's really not that expensive. All right, so now let's go ahead and see what my gains are. Now, you know, I gotta get on my tippy toes. Short man alert, short man alert. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> All right, let's see. So let's go ahead and look at those strong areas first. We'll go from, I guess, good to bad. <laughs> Switch it up. Let me, if I can focus here, goodness gracious. Yeah, so this is my sideburn area. You see it's coming in. Uh, okay, I guess. And then obviously that connection area closer by my face, like I was mentioning before, the struggle area that's this pretty much universal for most guys. Uh, it's pretty bald. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for some sort of, you can see at the bottom though, it's coming in pretty good. It's connecting through, but up here, like there's no traces of Bayless hairs or anything. So I'm praying every day, elite, at the very least a Bayless hair or something will pop up in this connection area. Now, of course, you know, I have my mustache, I have my soul patch and my goatee already. Um, as far as hair is growing in here, not really. I think it's really just been making my soul patch longer, which is cool because eventually I might connect it in the middle and do something there. We'll see how it looks. If I can pull off that look, Let's see if I can clear this up a little bit more. And then the connection area on this side, there's nothing at the bottom. So the left side of my face is definitely beating it. There's nothing really here at all. So the connection area over here is struggling completely. Even the mustache hairs are harder to pull down on this side for the goatee uh, than the other side. So the right side is really struggling. But the sideburns are kind of coming in a little bit. So 
yeah that's what we're looking like but yeah that's what we're looking like this week guys i hope you all are enjoying this journey again this is quarantine time i'm about to head to work and i'll have on a mask so this is the perfect time to really go on your beer growth journey because we'll probably be in this situation for a little bit longer uh, at the very least, at least the next probably three to four months. That's just my personal opinion. So while we, while we have the opportunity to have masks on and we can really hide that ugly growth stage and patchy stage, let's go ahead and get these beers on savage level. All right, I'll catch you all next week. Let's get it.